In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. I wish you all in the name of Christ, and welcome you all for this Holy Eucharistic celebration. This Mass we shall offer in honor of Our Lady of Fatima, and offer of all, all of ourselves at the feet of her, that all our families may be continue to be blessed. And in today's Gospel, we hear, once again, Jesus assuring that our mother continues to be our mother. He says to John the Baptist, and of course to every one of us, behold your mother. In each and every moment of our lives, joys and sorrows, pain, health, sickness, troubles, when we cry and when we ask for, in all the moments, her intercession continues to take us forward. We are thankful to God for our mother and asking her maternal affection to us, let us continue to partake in this Holy Eucharist. My brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to our mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask to bless the Virgin Mary, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Father, you have given us the mother of your son to be our mother also. Grant us that by obeying the appeals of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may always work towards our redemption through prayer and penance for the kingdom of Christ and attain eternal happiness. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. John. So a new heaven and new earth. The first heaven and the first earth had disappeared now, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city and the new Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven, as beautiful as a bride, all dressed for her husband. Then I heard a loud voice call from the throne. You see the city. Here God lives among men. He will make his home among them. They shall be his people. And he will be their God. His name is God with them. He will wipe away all tears from their eyes. There will be no more death and no more mourning or sadness. The world of the past has gone. Then the one sitting on the throne spoke, Now I am making the wall of creation new. This is the word of the Lord. Response, Real Sam. You are the highest honor of our, gra of our race. May you be blessed, my daughter, by God most high, beyond all women on earth. And may the Lord God be blessed, the creator of heaven and earth. 
you are the host. The trust you have shown shall not pass from the memories of men, but shall ever remind them of the power of God. You are the highest of always. God grant you to be always held in honor and rewarded with blessings, since you did not consider your own life when our nation was brought to its knees. You are the highest. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, Virgin Mary, who believed that the promise made you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother and his mother's sisters, Mary the wife of Clopas and Mary of Magdala. Seeing his mother and the disciple he loved standing there, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, this is your son. Then to the disciple he said, This is your mother. And from that moment, the disciple made a place for her in his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Let us uh, remain standing for the praise of the faithful. Gathered together in the name of the Lord, present here as he promised, we pray with confidence to God our Father for the needs of all peoples. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, hear our prayers. For the Holy Church of God, that by the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist, which proclaims the marvels realized at the Last Supper of Christ, the Church may experience a growth in the work of salvation and be a living of unity among all peoples, we pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear our prayer. For people all over the world, that they achieve progress in freedom and mutual respect, and may find in God the source of all good, we pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. For those who are sick or abandoned, that the Son of God, the strong support of human frailty, frailty Heal and strengthen them for those who are dying, that they be nourished by holy viaticum. We pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. For those who have died or who will die this day, or, and whose faith is known only to God, that Jesus Christ reward them with the resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us for us here present in this assembly, that in celebrating the Holy Eucharist, fraternal charity be increased among us, and our hope be strengthened in the final coming of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. In the moment of silence, let us pray for our personal and family needs and intentions. God of infinite goodness, attentive to the supplication of your people and with the prayers of Mary, mother of your son, 
and mother of the church, to help us listen to our pleas and increase our faith. We ask this through Jesus your Son, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become for us the spiritual ring. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice of yours and mine may it be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of His name. Brother and Lord of all His holy church. Lord, we offer you these gifts of reparation and of praise, so that in celebrating this feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary, you may absolve us from our sins and guide our wavering hearts. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's right and just. Father, our powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks as we celebrate this day of our Blessed Virgin Mary, and praise you for your gifts. She, receiving your word in her immaculate heart, merited to conceive him in her virginal womb, and in giving birth to the creator of the world, she prepared the birth of the church. She, in receiving at the foot of the cross the testament of div divine charity, received all men as her children, born to eternal life through the death of Christ. She, when the apostles were awaiting the coming of the Holy Spirit, the prepared one, united her supplications to the prayers of the disciples, and thus became the model of the supplicant church. She then finally elevated the glory of the heaven, surrounds with her maternal love the pilgrim church, and lovingly directs their steps to the heavenly dwelling place until the glorious coming of the Lord. And so, with all the angels and saints, we proclaim your glory, and join in their unending hymn of praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, 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 heaven and earth of love, your glory. Son and thy highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Son and thy highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. The mystery of faith. Christ died. Christ has risen. Christ will come again. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love, together with Francis of Pope, our Bishop Joss, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. We may praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Lord be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety, as we await in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, kingdom the power, and the glory, glory, glory and lives, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
thanking our mother for the for her daily in the sessions thanking for this opportunity to come together as one family in this altar let us remain thankful to god to our mother and thus pray to our mother hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen let us pray lord having received with joy these heavenly sacraments grant us we pray you that they may lead us to eternal life where we may rejoice forever with the blessed virgin mary mother of your son and mother of the church we ask this through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen the mass is finished let us go in peace of christ thanks uh, everyone thanks everyone of you for joining in this holy eucharistic celebration and i wish you all along with everyone here in the altar i wish you all and your families god's blessings and our mother's protection always have a wonderful day ahead